Morning, campers. <laughs> How'd you pack away a wet tent? <laughs> How'd you pack away a wet tent? Um, I would recommend um, putting everything in your bags and then you go in the shelter and pack up stuff where it's not raining. Oh, All right. That's what I would do. Morning. Morning. Day three. So the question now is, do we put in yesterday's dirty kit because you're going to get wet all day and save the fresh kit for the day after? Or do we put some fresh clean kit on, get soaking wet, uh, and then not have any fresh kit tomorrow? I think I'm going with the dirty kit again. <laughs> Three days in one kit. It's just uh, amazing how quickly bikepacking, minging, just becomes the norm. <laughs> what the frick is that? We should just add one. <laughs> Happy breakfast. Cheese. I've got a bag that's way too small for you to put it in. There you go. You don't Rapid know <laughs> the power of the French breadstick. <laughs> you know you were saying last night about having a comedic top gear by each other a present to carry yeah. on the bike, but I've got too much stuff anyway. It's going to look funny with that sticking out in the rain, isn't it? It's going to be a story. <laughs> you can go get your Nutella now. <laughs> I've thought about it. It was too heavy. All right, getting there slowly in the rain. I've just got to pack my tent up. Although, being on the hills and cycling everywhere, I'm still behind Pete on, <laughs> on packing up the tent as well. How would you do it so quick? More experience, I suppose. Uh, less to pack on the bike. This is where you... My tent's the same size. This, this is where you're being cold yesterday because you didn't have enough clothing. It's going to pay off in my favour. Yeah, I'm going to be cold today. I know it already. <laughs> well, this is looking absolutely delightful for 123k, isn't it, Pete? Just got the dog to <laughs> Yeah, we're in a bit of shelter in the in the plate washing bit. Just pondering getting started. We have 123k today. We're pretty much following the coast all the way to Um We have no campsite again, so we've got to find one when we get there. So it, it could be more than 123k. It could be less if we see a campsite before. But uh, the rain hopefully will drop away at 12 from the forecast I've seen and won't be all day. Otherwise, it's going to be a wet one and we've already got wet kit. Uh, fun bike packing, isn't it? Although you're absolutely loving life, aren't you, Pete? Drive off this. <laughs> Fixing your bike every single day. Well, you're the expert. I just, just lean on you to help fix my problems. One for you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need a trolley. Uh, although, I'm wondering what, what can I buy you to slow you down? Well, we, we can get you a nice dress, that keeps you warm. Yeah, there's enough stuff in here, just need a pick. <laughs> a I want that one. It's a pretty good breakfast, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of pear juice. Coffee eclairs and a bit of water. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call crazy but things are finally right with you and I the future is bright oh, you and I we got it oh, we, we just come down a massive descent just to see the coast and go back up another massive hill whoops so far we're 25k in have we cycled a flat road yet? This one. This one. First one. What climbing have we done so far? Uh, 250 metres. 250 metres in 25k. 850 to go. Oh man. The hills of Brittany are no joke.
highlights of the day. You said you wanted crab for lunch. Oh, is there some down there? Oh, yeah. Get your Google Lens out, see what they are. <laughs> this is the highlight of the day so far, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sun's coming out. We just had that lovely bit of Euro Velo 4. Paris Roubaix style. I really enjoyed that. That was good. Come down to here and we got this. I mean, this is uh, pretty France. This is what I wanted to come and see. And lovely little bridges like this. Very pleased. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> Nice lunch spot. Very French. You, you get your crap. 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 In front of the cathedral, or whatever that is. It's quite a popular place with tourists, isn't it? It's either a good sign or a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Complete jambon. That's what we came for. Are you going to want some more? Is that enough? <laughs> We are now 59k in. This is definitely the best day so far. We've followed the coast. Um, we've been to that lovely town of Treguier. Um, we're heading to Pouvion or something like that. It's not actually rained. There's been a couple of bits of drizzle, but since we set off from the campsite, it hasn't really rained. So we're getting away with the weather. We found a bit of a tailwind and uh, loving life at the moment. Or you should say, a je t'aime la vie. Are you going? You're not, you, you don't want to chat? <laughs> This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin The game 
<laughs> we just set up that what should have been a lovely shot with that nice sweeping road only to realize we should have turned right never mind Right, so we're on the final push to Saint Brieuc to set up camp for the night. I don't think we told you on camera, but we discussed at lunchtime over our crepes that we were going to cut out a few little peninsulas because the weather was looking iffy and we wanted to make sure that we weren't getting stuck in the rain. However, the rain hasn't really materialised. The weather map says now there will be no rain. So we're a little bit more relaxed, but we've cut it from 120k down to about 102, 104, something like that. I'm not quite sure exactly what. We've also decided to camp this side of Saint Brieuc and do a bit more distance tomorrow towards Dol de Bretagne, where we've got an Airbnb because the weather is looking a lot better tomorrow. Yeah, Pete's just gone wrong and missed the turning, but we have been following the uh, cycle route, the Euro Velo 4, for most of the two days and the next few days as well. And there was a signpost there that just pointed this way, and he is somewhere behind. But uh, as you'll point out, I've probably taken more wrong turns than he has. And I've got no excuse because we've both got the route whacked on our wahoos. But anyway, on to San Brieu. I was thinking about what I wanted to eat tonight. <laughs> wasn't looking the right way. And that's when you went the right way. I, I wasn't going to say anything because I've gone more wrong than you have. Most of these little turns I keep you missing. Got camera out as soon as I went the wrong way, so I thought, no, he's going to get me in bad well, luck. I've been struggling to do a piece to camera for the last four hours because we've either been going up a hill or down a hill. Or into we, the wind. Or into the wind. We haven't actually had a flat bit until now. And we're, what, 90 kilometres in? 91 kilometres in. It's been a good day, though, not it? Oh, it's been an amazing day. I really want to know, really want to know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down This one's closed. Next one. But there's one just up the road, apparently. So when you said up the road, you basically mean in the next field. Yeah. <laughs> Ding dong. Two campers. What's the phrase? <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, Pouvez-vous uh, camping pour tout person à vélo? For un nuit. Oui. Merci. Yes. Two petit ton. Excellent. Yeah, we've got, got our own table. No food to eat on it. <laughs> Obviously, as we packed away in the rain this morning, everything is still wet. So the expert says, give 10 minutes to the outer on the line there, get it dry, and we should be good to go. 
and obviously we're drying the inners as well whilst they're whilst they're up right so it's getting late we've got a stunning sunset um it is a bit chilly though it's supposed to be 14 degrees tonight but it feels a lot colder um we're just going to jump into the sleeping bags now it's something like half 10 ish got ourselves set for the night and have an early morning 120k tomorrow now having reset the day we're off to Dol de Bretagne we've got an Airbnb there uh, hopefully the day will be just as stunning it was today not as much climbing today I think it's only seven eight hundred meters or something so even with the longer distance it should be quite achievable but we've had a great day and I'm I'm absolutely stoked that I'm feeling stronger and stronger every day and uh, yeah the distance hasn't been a problem despite me worrying what the hell was going to happen on that first day just yeah it's just amazing how how the body copes can you remember what sting was singing when we arrived in plymouth on sunday it's something about beautiful no it's if i lose my faith in you <laughs> did you lose your faith in me pete no 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 i just thought i might be cycling to plymouth on, <laughs> on the train but it's all worth it yeah that's a stunning we've had a really good day today some amazing scenery we were debating at one point whether today was better than yesterday yeah and you convinced me it didn't take much convincing <laughs> it was the crap oh the crap was good so see if see if tomorrow can top it i think it will yeah. so i'm just gonna get in my tent get myself all wrapped up and get my head down and refreshed to go again tomorrow 120k we must be getting near normandy I don't know where the border is for Brittany and Normandy. I should probably look it up. Viva la France. You've got to come and ride your bike here. Um, everybody seems to have e-bikes just to whip up and down the hills. And I don't blame them. That might be the way forward for bikepacking with all the bikes on. Although I don't think Pete would ever talk to me again if I got an e-bike to go bikepacking with him. But we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>